by Professor Esther Diller. Today's topic, the Ferrite app. I'm going to show you how to record in the app and produce a short news report in the app using my voice and sound bites from a pre-recorded news story. For those of you who are trying to navigate this app, this is a quick and easy tutorial on how to use the app and basic editing. For many of my students in the news gathering class for Bloomfield College, it's a reminder of how, what we went over the class, how to do it, and how to help you get up and running if you're wondering how to use the app or remembering how to use the app. First, what is the Ferrite app? It's an app where you can record audio and also do post-production with editing. It's a lot easier than many apps like GarageBand, which specializes in music production on your iPad. This app is for spoken word interviews, so it's really ideal for a radio reporter on the move and an audio podcaster because it can be on your iPad or your iPhone. You have up to three tracks of audio in a project in the Ferrite app. Now, three tracks are your limit for the free version. You can get more tracks if you choose to upgrade, but of course you have to pay for it. So let's go to the CBS 880 News Report and I'm gonna tap onto it. And you can see it um, allows me the, to show the pencil icon, the eye icon, a square with a arrow going up and a trash can. Trash can, of course, is to get rid of it. The arrow icon with the uh, square, that's to export it. We'll talk about that later. The eye icon really is just for information. If you look at it, you can see the name of um, the news report I put in. If you scroll down, you can actually see it's a podcast. Well, I put panic podcast. Um, and the artwork with this particular sound that I downloaded um, is CBS 880 News. You can actually put artwork with it, which is kind of cool. So anything that you record, you can do that, do a project and actually do all this stuff. And it's uh, really fun. I like it. Uh, very, very professional. Hit done. If you go to the um, pencil icon, you can press that and you will see the actual audio from this uh, interface. We're going to pretend that you recorded all this wonderful sound and that you have to cut the sound from this uh, interview and put it together with your voiced script. And that's what we're doing. So we're gonna put this, the um, actually time indicator at the beginning, you can see that triangle at the top. I'm moving it right now, you can see it. That's where the time indicator is at in the beginning. I'm gonna hit the play button, which is in the far right corner on the bottom with that arrow that is pointing to the right. I'm gonna play, press it. New Jersey's park exams have had parents and education advocates alike up in arms since they were enacted in 2016. They were causing a lot of confusion. They were infringing on students' rights. Uh, and we're pleased that the court has indicated our position that they were illegal. Jessica Levin at the Education Law Center says there were a number of problems with the tests. For one, they were a direct contradiction of earlier state law that said students only need to pass one test to graduate. But there were some other concerns. Those fee-based tests discriminated against low-income students who are more likely to be African-American, Hispanic, or English language learners, um, creating a negative, uh, disparate negative impact on them. The class of 2020 would have been the first to have their graduations hinge on the park exams. A lot of states are moving away from exit testing requirements as a whole, Levin says, and New Jersey should think about doing the same. The ruling doesn't go into effect for another 30 days while the state attorney general's office decides if it wants to appeal. Steve Burns, WCBS News Radio 880. All I have to do is swipe to the right and I can make this thing move all the way back to the beginning. And as you can see, it's pretty simple in order to do that. And if we want to see those waveforms a little bit more spread out so you can see where uh, breaths and things are at so that you can edit it a lot easier, you just two fingers spread and you can see a lot more detail. Um, that's basically how you do it. And what I'm going to do is go back to the beginning and I'm going to that first sound bite where the lady speaks. And as soon as the lady speaks, I'm gonna to try to hit that pause button. I may get it right on, I may not, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna hit that play button again. New Jersey's park exams have had parents and education advocates alike up in arms since they were enacted in 2016. They were called. Okay, so I stopped it a little too late, but that's okay. I'm gonna take that time indicator and move back a little bit i think he starts stops right around here let's hear what he says they were caught nope that's not it right about here then steen. okay so steen is right there i'm gonna press the move my time indicator here and then just hit play just in case steen. they were caught uh -oh. so it's right here 
That's where she starts speaking. I'm going to hit that play they button. They were coughing a lot. Yep, I got it. All right, if you put that right there in the middle uh, between he, his voice and her voice, you can split it as if you were doing splitting um, an interview where exactly where you want to start that sound bite. I'm going to tap the entire track, this audio track, and then I'm going to tap it again. It's going to give me some options. Cut, copy, paste, delete, split, import, zoom, strip, silence, tighten, and share. What I'm going to do is split this audio right at that spot. Hit the split button, and it has split it. If you hit the play button, we're going to wait until she finishes speaking, and I'm going to hit the pause button as fast as I can. They were causing a lot of confusion. They were infringing on students' rights. Uh, and we're pleased that the court has vindicated our position that they were illegal. Just okay, now he speaks just before I, I stopped it. So I'm going to move that time indicator just before he speaks again. I think this is where she ends her spa stuff. Cool. Just yes, it is. Cool. And I'm going to put it right there between what he says and she says and just hit the play. Cool. Jessica. Yeah, right there. I got it. Jessica. Yeah, that's right there. Jessica. Yeah, I was right. Okay, so I am right. The time indicator goes there. I'm going to tap it again. Hit the split button. And then I'm going to squeeze a little bit so then less of the detail is seen. Make it a little squeeter. Okay, so you can see the time indicator is there. The other spot is right there. So those are the two spots I want, okay? So I'm going to tap onto the gray area anywhere but on the track. And it de-highlights the whole track that I've been working on. Now the, the piece that I want to edit out, I'm going to tap that. And that is what highlights, as you can see. Now guess what I want to do right now? I want to copy that. I'm going to tap it again. Hit the copy button. And then we're going to go to the far left corner with the page that has a check mark on it and tap that. Go to your audio that you've recorded, today's test recording. That's what I did. And I'm going to tap in the middle, just past the, the words today's test recording. And it will give me the options of the pencil icon, edit, um, the I, the um, export icon, and the trash icon. I'm going to go to the pencil icon, which is the edit button. I'm going to um, have open existing project. And this is my sound of my voice. And I'm going to let you listen to it. And I'm going to say, I'm doing the very same track that the other guy did. I just have a few mistakes, which it will help you edit. So we're going to cut out the mistakes. I'm moving the time indicator to the beginning. Let me hit the play button. Three, two, one. New Jersey's park exams. Three, two, one. New Jersey's park exams have had parents and education advocates up in arms since they were enacted in 2016. One more three time. Three, two. New Jersey's park exams have had parents and education advocates alike up in arms since they were enacted in 2016. All right, that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to move this here, the time indicator there. I'm going to tap it, tap it again, split that puppy just like I want. They did the other one. Then I'm going to move that time indicator to the end of where I speak. New Jersey's park exams have had parents and education advocates alike up in arms since they were enacted in 2016. Okay, so I'm going to tap it again. I'm going to split it. And I'm doing two things at the same time because I kind of think like this. This is easier for me to think like this. Now remember that audio that we, we copied from the CBS 880 News, the original report. We're going to um, want to paste it somewhere. And the way I do it is I hit the plus button on the bottom. You see that plus button to the very right underneath uh, the tr first track. And I'm going to add a track. That gives me a blank track. And I'm going to paste that audio on that track. And how I do that is tap that track and hit the word paste. And that audio that I just copied from the other report is over on that track. Now I've split my first audio track and I want to get rid of the stuff that doesn't matter. So I'm going to move my um, time indicator toward the beginning, which means that I got to kind of move stuff over. And I'm going to move that over there. Time indicators at the beginning. 
I'm going to tap the beginning part, which is the bad part, which I don't want to use. And I'm going to tap it again. And guess what I want to do? Delete it. And I've deleted it. Now I want to move the audio that I like, which was the one that it has the, um, the I'm going to move that time indicator up here so you can see it. See that? That's where the time, the sound started. And that's where the sound ended. So I'm going to tap on that piece. And I'm going to drag it all the way back a little just after the zero, zero mark. So then I have a little bit of silence beforehand and then um, I can play it. I'm going to hit the play button. New Jersey's park exams have had parents and education advocates alike up in arms since they were enacted in 2016. Okay, so right after I say 2016, that's where the woman's audio comes in and that's on track number two. I'm going to tap that track and I am going to drag it with my finger up to the first track and marry it very as close as I possibly can without covering my last audio bite and then I'm going to move that time indicator to the beginning and let's see how that sounds hit the play New Jersey's park exams have had parents and education advocates alike up in arms since they were enacted in 2016. They were causing a lot of confusion they were infringing on students rights uh, and we're pleased that the court has indicated our position that they were illegal. Okay, that's where I wanted to stop. So the next track, I'm going to move my time indicator over here to the, the rest of my recording to see if I can find that second track and I'm going to hit the play button. Three, two, Jessica Levin at the Education Law Center says there were a number of problems with the tests. For one, they were a direct contradiction of early state law that said students only need to pass one test to graduate. But there were some other concerns. Okay, that's where the second sound bite would go. So I'm going to take the 3 2 out of there. I don't want that. So I'm going to split it, tap onto that very audio, tap it again, and I'm going to split it. Split. Then I'm going to tap off of, it, of that track so it's not highlighted on any part of the interface. Well, better to tap on the gray part of the interface, it'll de highlight it. The part that I don't want, the 3 2, I'm going to tap only that part. Uh-oh, it did not split it where I wanted it to. Let's split it now again. Tap it again. Split, and now it is. I'm gonna tap off of it. Tap that three, two. That's all I wanna get rid of. I'm gonna tap that three, two, and it gives me the option of cutting, copying it, or pasting it, or delete it, and I'm gonna hit the delete button. Hit delete, it's done. Well, um, I don't know why the second one deleted, didn't give me the full delete. Uh, oh yeah, it did. It deleted the second. It actually split the other part. So what um, I have is my second track already split. Let's see if it sounds right. Jessica Levin at the Education Law Center says there were a number of problems with the tests. For one, they were a direct contradiction of early state law that said students only need to pass one test to graduate. But there were some other concerns. Okay, so obviously it split way down the line and I didn't want it to do that, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to put them together anyway. So what I'll do is I'll tap this and I am going to tap the track and I tap it again and it will split it at the time indicator location and I'm going to split it. So now I'm going to move that audio, both of them together to marry next to the sound that we uh, move from the CBS 880 news report and make sure that it's tight, but it doesn't overlap too much. And once we do that, then we're going to move to the next um, sound bite. I'm gonna get out of this particular report because I have to get one more sound bite from that CBS 880 news report. And I'm gonna go to that little page button in the very far left with the, the check mark, tap that, and I'm going to go to the CBS 880 news report and let's see, let's find that audio that the lady says last. So I'm gonna put the time indicator where I last edited and hit the play button. Jessica Levin at the Education Law Center says there were a number of problems with the tests. For one, they were a direct contradiction of earlier state law that said students only need to pass one test to graduate. Need to pass one test to graduate. But there were some other concerns. Those fee-based tests discriminated against low-income students who are more likely to be African-American, Hispanic, or English language learners. Okay, so right there, right he says... There were some other concerns. Other concern, there were some other concerns. I'm going to tap on that track. I'm going to split it at that point. And then I'm going to hit the play button. 
those fee-based tests discriminated against low-income students who are more likely to be African-American, Hispanic, or English language learners. Last one, I cut it right on them. On that, on that. So that's where I want. That's my second soundbite that I want to use. I'm tapping that. Tap it. I'm going to copy it. Go back with the little page icon with the check mark. Then I'm going to paste that in the recording that I started. I'm going to go tell you today's test recording. I tap it. Hit that pencil icon. Open existing project. I'm going to find where I'm going to put that audio. Um, I believe it's right after uh, that set, that cut that is highlighted. I'm going to go to the second track, highlight that track, paste it. And let's see if we can make this work. I'm moving the other track over so it doesn't conflict. I'm going to tap the part that I want to add. I'm adding it to the last track that was edited. And then I'm going to go back and move the time indicator to the, um, tracks. Jessica Levin at the Education Law Center says there were a number of problems with the tests. For one, they were a direct contradiction of early state law that said students only need to pass one test to graduate. But there were some other concerns. Those fee-based tests discriminated against low-income students who are more likely to be African-American, Hispanic, or English language learners, um, creating a negative, uh, disparate negative impact on them. Okay, so that's where I wanted to be. And the last track is up here, so let's find it. That's at three, two, three, two. And I'm going to split it there. I'm going to tap it, split it, split there, hit the play button. The class of 2020 would have been the first to have their graduations hinge on the exams. A lot of states are moving away from exit testing as a whole, Levin says, and New Jersey should think about doing the same. The ruling doesn't go into effect for another 30 days while the state attorney general's office decides if it wants to appeal. So I'm going to... Uh, split it right there, tap it, split it. I'm going to get rid of that um, three, two. So I'm going to gr tap the gray area, then go back to the three, two, and I'm going to tap it again, delete that puppy. Then I'm going to move the uh, audio that I want to move down close to the other track, tap that track that's been edited, move it all the way down. So then it's nice and uh, close to the other space. I'm kind of overlapping a little bit so that it's nice and tight. Hit the play button. The class of 2020 would have been the first to have their graduations hinge on the exams. A lot of states are moving away from exit testing as a whole, Levin says, and New Jersey should think about doing the same. The ruling doesn't go into effect for another 30 days while the state attorney general's office decides if it wants to appeal. Okay, that is where I want to stop it. And I have my close at the end of this track, which is right about here. I have a 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. And then I'm going to split it. I tap the track that I want to split, tap it again, split. Then this is my track that I want to listen to. Esther Dillard, WBCR News Radio. Okay, so I'm going to use the college radio out. What I'm going to do is tap on the gray area, tap on the part that I don't want to use. I'm going to tap it, delete it, and move this last track all the way over and marry it to the end. And then all I have to do is kind of trim this up. If I use that little node at the end, the little half circle, put it close to where I begin speaking. That's where it starts. I'm gonna tap this and move this baby over close to the last track and see if the audio is how I want it to be. I'm gonna also trim up the back end of this so I don't have any uh, extra sound at the end. And that's that other half circle. I'm moving it over so that it's all the way toward the end. That should be good enough. I'm going to move my uh, time indicator to where the last sound bite was so I can hear that last track. Well, I'm going to just move it to the last track, end of the last track, and see if it sounds good. Another 30 days while the state attorney general's office decides if it wants to appeal. Esther Dillard, WBCR News Radio. I'm going to move that over just a little bit, give it a little bit of uh, breathing room. I don't like it so tight that it doesn't give me a breath. So I move that over a little bit and give it a little bit of a breath. Let's hear. The office decides if it wants to appeal. Esther Dillard, WBCR News Radio. Okay, that's it. Um, and now I have a full report. All I need to do is listen to the whole thing. Let's see if it sounds all the way through. It sounds good. I want to take my time indicator to the beginning and I hit play.
New Jersey's park exams have had parents and education advocates alike up in arms since they were enacted in 2016. They were causing a lot of confusion. They were infringing on students' rights. Uh, and we're pleased that the court has vindicated our position that they were illegal. Jessica Levin at the Education Law Center says there were a number of problems with the tests. For one, they were a direct contradiction of early state law that said students only need to pass one test to graduate. But there were some other concerns. Those fee-based tests discriminated against low-income students who are more likely to be African-American, Hispanic, or English language learners, um, creating a negative, uh, disparate negative impact on them. The class of 2020 would have been the first to have their graduations hinge on the exams. A lot of states are moving away from exit testing as a whole, Levin says, and New Jersey should think about doing the same. The ruling doesn't go into effect for another 30 days while the state attorney general's office decides if it wants to appeal. Esther Dillard, WBCR News Radio. All right. So now, if you have done this with me, you probably now are feeling really good about yourself because you have done your first news report. Although you did not actually interview everybody like you should and edit everything, but you learned the process in which you could put together a short report, use audio from interviews. Use your your audio that you actually recorded from your script that you write, and you have something that you can actually share. What you want to do is go back down to that left icon, uh, icon in the left hand corner on the bottom. Tap that. You now have the final park exam um, project, which I put together. You can see it says Dillard Park Exams Final. I'm going to press that uh, icon that has the square with the up arrow. Guess what? It gives me the option of being able to send it off to anywhere. That skip is that's my husband. I that's he has a iPod and um iPad. I don't want to send it to his iPad. I would like to send it to perhaps um Dropbox or copy it to my drive and then I can upload it to my uh YouTube channel. Or if I put YouTube on here, I could put YouTube too. Finally, if this tutorial was any help to you, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as send me a comment. That way I know whether or not the content that I put out on the internet is actually making a positive impact. That is the end of this tutorial for this KISS Mediacast. I'm Professor Esther Dillard, trying to keep it simple.